How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And some of you guys have been asking, can you use a VPN with Cox? Now, Cox distributes its internet access in various packages. And these data plans come with different speed settings and limits to the amount of information you can download or upload. Now, if you bypass that data cap, you might experience a decline in the quality of your internet. Now, the method used to achieve this is unclear. And Cox does not label it as throttling. And they do do it anyways. And Cox does not clearly state what they do in this situation. Now with lower download and upload speeds, it can be problematic to use some sites such as Hulu, YouTube, and Netflix. And with that information, I mean, you're probably going to want to use a VPN. So I understand why you're looking up if you can use a VPN with Cox. Now the answer is yes, because a VPN is a network technology that creates a secure encrypted connection between your device and a private VPN server. And when you use a VPN, all of your internet traffic is routed through through the VPN server, which makes it difficult for anyone to track or monitor your online activities. Now, to use a VPN with Cox, you will need to follow a few steps. First of all, you want to choose a VPN provider. Now, there are many different VPN providers to choose from, each with its own unique features and pricing plans. And instead of having to do the research to figure out which one could be the best choice for you, I went ahead and tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and have narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. They all vary in budgets and features, so pick and choose depending on your own situation and what you're looking for out of these VPNs. Now, all you need to do is install the VPN software either by clicking the links in the description down below which will take you straight to the best discounts available for these uh, VPNs. Then you can subscribe to one of these VPNs and download the software and use your credentials, obviously, to log into the software. And once you have it logged in, you've got Express, Nord, or Surfshark. No matter which one you choose, uh, you'll be able to connect to any of these VPNs by selecting a location. Let me go ahead and just show you guys. Let's say I want to use uh, ExpressVPN in this case you know, maybe connect to the United States server right here, maybe Miami, for example. So I'll go ahead and connect. And when you're connected, you can use the internet as you normally would, and all of your internet traffic will be routed through the VPN server, protecting your online activities from being monitored or tracked. So if I go to my whatismyipaddress.com, just to double check that I'm indeed connected to the Miami server, as you can tell, I'm in Miami, Florida, the United States, simply because I'm connected to the Miami server with ExpressVPN. And let's say I go ahead and disconnect and maybe use NordVPN in this case, I can connect to the UK server, for example. And now that I'm connected to the UK, I can access all the streaming services that are available in the UK in this case, such as BBC iPlayer. So if I refresh my IP finder, now I'm in the UK all of a sudden, and it's as simple as that. Now, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about these VPNs, again, I've said these are the top three VPNs overall, whether you want to unblock streaming services, you want to torrent safely, you want to avoid throttling, they all have a strict no logs policy with the military grade 256 bit AES encryption. And they're just overall some of the best VPNs that you can use. But if you're interested in learning a little bit more about the privacy policy, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, you'll find the full reviews down below. And you'll find links to pricing and discounts if you'd like to get straight to that. And of course, they're all covered by 30 day money back guarantee. So you can test drive these VPNs for 30 days risk free. Otherwise, you can simply get yourself the fund if you're not satisfied for whatever reason. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.